two areas I'd say I'm most excited about. One is um, the idea that we could lower or modify our risk um, as we um, as we age. So we know that Alzheimer's disease is a slowly progressive disease. In fact, we know from brain imaging that, that your brain starts to change 10 to 20 years before symptoms occur. So that means that folks in midlife, um, your brain may already be starting to change and, and, and we're setting ourselves up for dementia later in life. So th we're learning more and more about diet and exercise and uh, social engagement and mental stimulation, all these things that, are, that really can um, have an impact on our dementia risk as we age. That's one of the reasons the Alzheimer's Association is funding the US Pointer Study to look at those things. I think it's, um, it's those kind of things that we can do today. We don't have to wait for the great new drugs that we hope are gonna come, but we can lower our risk. And what's interesting about Alzheimer's, it's a disease that affects mostly older people. And most, and, and you know, if we can delay the onset of Alzheimer's disease by just a few years, so that we can die of something else, that looks like a cure, right? The other thing I'm, I'm most excited about is, is the development of the biomarkers. We're learning so much about biomarkers. These things are both imaging biomarkers and fluid-based biomarkers. They're informing us so much about the disease and they're aiding um, the development of new drugs. So by enabling us to find the right patient for the right drug at the right time, those are the things that the biomarkers can give us. So if, you're, if you have an anti-amyloid therapy, make sure that the patients in your clinical trial have amyloid in their, in their brain, either based on uh, brain imaging, like amyloid PET or cerebral spinal fluid analysis. And we're seeing tremendous progress in the possibility of a blood screen so that we don't have to give everybody in the, uh, you know, who's interested in an in a, in a anti drug trial, uh, a PET scan, or, or, or a, a cerebral spinal fluid tap, we can actually screen and find those right patients, again, at the right time using a blood screen. That would be really exciting. So I am really excited about the, the biomarkers because it has such broad ranging uh, applications all the way from just our basic understanding of the disease through to the development of new therapies. We're seeing great progress being made in, in the amount of funding that we're getting at the federal level and money is always an obstacle to, to new research and we still need more funding but we're seeing great progress there. The other big issue that's um, impacting us is, is recruitment for clinical trials. Finding patients, particularly as the field wants to do more um, intervention early. So we're, we're talking about people who have little, uh, very few symptoms, very early signs of, of Alzheimer's disease. And that's actually going back to what we talked about at the beginning, the, the clinical practice guidelines. Those actually may also help our recruitment because we're going to be able to diagnose people more um, effectively earlier. Uh, part of the guidelines talk about referring to specialists. If you look at cancer, cancer um, does a very effective job of getting people into clinical trials because very quickly once somebody's diagnosed with cancer they get referred to a, to a specialist or oncologist and those are the people that are more tied tightly um, tapped into the clinical trials the same can be said in in alzheimer's the the specialists are more inclined to be involved in clinical trials than the primary care physician so if we can get more people referred maybe we can also improve the amount of, of people who are in clinical trials the other thing that's that's exciting for me is that at aic this year we are the largest ever 5,700, we have broken the record. Last year we broke a record in London, this year we're breaking another record. I think that speaks to the fact that there is great momentum in this field. We are, with increasing funding, we're, 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 we're retra retaining talent and we're attracting talent. We need the best and the brightest to, to, to combat this disease and that's what's happening and I'm very excited about that.